So we're here today at Pastel Salon. Um, I'm here with Aisha, our Deputy Arts and Interiors Editor, and we're going to be speaking with Dyson Ambassador Natalie Cassis, uh, who's also the Creative Director here at Pastel, about how we can both best use the Dyson Corral for our individual hair types, because we have very, very different hair types. Totally different. Mine's super fine and straight, and Natalie's gonna help me add a little bit more volume and oomph to it with the corral. And my hair is super dry, thick, wavy, hard to manage. So I'm so excited to see how it turns out. Let's go. So what we're actually going to do today is just create some beach waves. So we're just going to give it some movement and a really natural kind of flow, but also creating some volume. And also something really interesting about the Corral is that it's cordless too. So we're going to see how you can maneuver Absolutely. it to get different kind of waves. Now it's really important because your hair is actually quite fine. We need to kind of prime it. So I'm just popping a bit of mousse in your hair as well, just more so for the ends. And so it makes a little noise when it's ready to go, when it's heated up, so you know. Yep, that's right. There you go. There <laughs> it is. She knew. So what we're gonna do is go in on a slight angle, okay, and then just lightly turn and drop. So the great thing about the Corel as well is the fact that you can take it on a flight. Okay, so basically it has a lithium battery. So if you're gonna travel with it, you just pop that out. So what happens is you actually pop the battery inside and you can check to see if the aeroplane mode's on as well. There you go. Oh, it's wow. on. Close it up. So it's quite good too, because I know for myself, I'm always running late and I always want to keep, you know, everything in my carry-on. I don't like taking tons of luggage. So that's quite excellent to hear that you have that flexibility. So it's a really good idea to let that cool down, like let the curls cool down before I put my fingers through it. That was very quite quick. That was only a couple of minutes actually. Normally I, spend a lot more time. As you can see, it's given it a little bend. Super natural. Can I just do one where I'm sort of just taking a piece to having do it? A, having yeah, a try? Yeah, giving it a try myself. Yeah, yeah, sure. So I'm just gonna give it a go for myself. I'm gonna touch up this piece. It's really gliding quite smoothly. I can feel that it's not getting stuck or anything like that. Oh! So we're straightening my hair. How long do you think it will take? I say it's going to take me a good 25 minutes. Okay. The charge goes to 35 minutes. So what I'm recommending to a lot of my clients that have long, thick hair like yours is to keep it plugged in for the back area. And then when you get to the front, then you can right. actually, yeah. As you can see, I'm just using one pass. So the whole idea of the curl is to use one pass. Key is um, making sure that your hair is 100% dry and it should be before you even think about using a curl on your hair or any heater tool on your hair. The great thing about this is the intelligent heat control. So with the intelligent heat control, it's checking the temperature a thousand times every single second. So it's regulating the temperature. So you, there's no second guessing. And there are three different settings in this. Yes. Corral, right? So there's 165, 185 and 210. Okay. And we're still on 210. Yes, right now, correct. Right? Okay. I can't believe how quick we've gotten past so much air. So it's really important just to make sure that you brush your hair before you start ironing so you're not tugging those ends as well or ironing over knots. Right. Wow. I'm actually amazed. Like I've never been able to get it done so quick and achieve such a shiny result. Yeah. Oh, amazing. And here is the result. It's super soft, super shiny. I can't stop touching it. I'm absolutely loving this. Super bouncy and beachy. Thanks guys so much for watching.